So here's a happy little scene I thought I'd share with you this morning. Uh, we can look out over our garden from our living room window. And I noticed today, after a pretty good front blew through here last night, that our corn was looking a little thin. I figured, yeah, it just got knocked over. Uh, it's ready to go. It's ready to harvest. So I came out here, and yeah, lo and behold, corn is been flattened quite a bit. There it all is. Uh, 80 mile an hour winds in uh, Red Wing, Minnesota, not too far from here. So some of it, some of it endured and uh, some of it didn't. But in the end, it really doesn't matter because it's time to freeze it. So I'm, I'm taking uh, taking advantage of the, uh, let's see, what would you call them? The uh, pig incinerators uh, by just opening the corn here. Here's, bring it inside to freeze and it is totally yummy and ready to go. And I'm just peeling it and tossing it in here with, with the pigs. They are having just a ball. Uh, usually we grow corn next to pigs. If you can, if you have a chance, grow corn next to pigs, whether it's sweet corn or field corn. Usually we harvest it and then rearrange the fence and just let them have it. Uh, obviously today, because of what happened, uh, I'm harvesting it and, and then throwing it in with them, which means I don't have to rearrange the fence, which is a fine thing too. So uh, there you go. This uh, this is just kind of fun. They are. Like, uh, what, in pig heaven? Look at, the, look at those tails. They're just going. Uh, this is where they stay. You've seen this before. There's, there's their house down there. And the greenhouses. There's our house way, way off in the distance where I could look over here and go, yeah, the corn blew over. So uh, I got my pot's boiling on the stove. I got to bring round one in and uh, blanch it. So uh, that's all I got. Have a nice day.